just like us? Incredible. So Catherine Lee Bates actually wrote America the Beautiful, the song, up here. This doesn't look anything like the photos I saw. That's yeah, probably That's why. why. Oh my word. This, this is, is amazing. Stunning. It feels nice in here. Oh, that's a great looking lift right there. Look at that. It's not sunrise, but it's pretty spectacular. It's just straight S down. Straight drop offs. <laughs> which I praised earlier from it being like a great road. Not so great in Colorado. Not so great. Like you like crossed, it was like, welcome to Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Colorado. Yeah, sorry, your roads are not as good as Kansas. But it's, it is good now, but there was like, I don't know, 50 miles or so that was just awful. Yeah, it was pretty bad there for a minute. So we are so excited. We haven't been back to the mountains in over a year, so. It's been a long time. Just seeing the mountains is awesome. Mountains. Actual jagged, peaks because I don't know it moves the soul so we're heading to Colorado Springs we're gonna stay there a few days one of our main things in Colorado Springs is Garden of the Gods now the Colorado adventure start well this is a little bit different than a couple hours ago we've never approached the Rockies like this Unbelievable. Look at this. Look at this. When we left today, they said it was going to be 106 there by like noon time. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot, uh, a lot better. I think we're at 3,500 feet more elevation here versus where we were just a few hours ago. Like I said before, I even saw the mountains. I'm excited for the mountains. Mm -hmm. Really excited for the mountains. Oh, it's going to fly. Oh my God. Oh my god, it's so big. Like, oh my god, that's my hand. It's so gross. It's so gross. I'm gonna touch it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh god. sorry, oh buddy. Oh my god. Colorado. Oh, it's chirping. Ooh. Oh, it's making noises. Okay. There are bats flying above us, too. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Good morning. We have a big day today. We're going to Garden of Gods. It's early. It's yeah. 5.17. Uh, we've been up since, I don't know, 4.45-ish. Mm -hmm. Sunrise and donuts. Always, always a classic, especially for a place like this. So we're going to go check out Garden of the Gods for sunrise at a really cool spot. Corey's kind of mapped out on Google according to where the sun's going to come up. And then we are headed up to Pikes Peak, which is 14,000... 14,000-ish ish. Ish feet, yes. Really High. tall, but we're driving it, so we're yeah. not hiking it, so it doesn't, okay. doesn't really count. It totally counts. It's so hard not to yawn. Yeah. <laughs> you thought you were safe. Are you still filming? Yeah. <laughs> just like us. Look at this. Oh my word. Alright, it's right here on the left. Alright, what'd you find? Okay, so 
Corey wants to get this certain shot, but we're kind of blocked from where the sun's rising, so I walked up the road and found a little pathway, so we're gonna go sit on top our, of a different rock. This is where our paths diverge. Yeah. This is the usual where Corey goes one way and we go the other way for so this isn't, sunrise. This isn't the ideal watch the sunrise place. Correct. But this is the ideal this is the shot I want. So this is the this, photographer gets what he wants today. Look at this. View. <laughs> Look at those <laughs> spires just coming up. It looks so unreal. I'm gonna wait here. I got a time lapse going. I'm gonna take some photos. Then we'll go find a parking lot. We'll do a little hike and uh, eat some donuts. Have some donuts and coffee. Location change. This is a pretty epic spot, but now we need to go find a little bit of a hike. A hike? I thought we were getting donuts out of this. Yeah, we are. It's a hiking donut <laughs> trip. Gotta earn those donuts. That's very true. This place is phenomenal. It is so beautiful. Once again, love finding these places that are free. So Charles Perkins in 1907, when he passed away, his children fulfilled his wishes and donated 480 acres to Garden of the Gods so that it would be designated as a free park to the public. Now, you know, a hundred years later, over a hundred years later, we're being able to drive in here for free. It's just unbelievable. It really is. And I mean, that's, that's how so many of our national parks were born too. I mean, so true. a bunch of philanthropists like Charles Rockefeller, you know, they donated so much land. Um, what's the guy's job? Mather. Yes. So Mather donated so much land to get some, some parks going. I think it was Yosemite, um, the Redwoods. I think it was the Redwoods. I don't know anymore. But, <laughs> Been but, to so many of Mather's parks. So much of our national parks and, and landmarks that we can go visit that are preserved today still are from the generosity of single individuals. It's very true. And it makes you so grateful when you're able to go and visit them and actually see them. Because that, imagine like what would have happened to them if they hadn't been designated. It's crazy. crazy. Um, so that whole mess you just watched was me going into the wrong parking lot. <laughs> oh, there's the sun. We've been behind that big rock all morning. A little different of a sunrise for us, but still like spectacular. Watching it like slowly rise and hit over those spires is just so gorgeous. We found our spot. And Lily, I don't know if you can see, but behind you, that's Pike's Peak. Oh, that is? That's where we're going. Okay, I don't think I've actually like seen it yet. Isn't that crazy? We're gonna be at the top of that in like an hour and a half. I need donuts first. Donuts first, okay, we're gonna head down this trail. Looks like a pretty good spot to stop. Yeah, these remind me of the spires that we saw when we were like walking through arches. Oh yeah. Remember that morning that we did sunrise out at Landscape Arch and then we climbed all those spires? What are they called? And all this <laughs> other <laughs> stuff <laughs> to look at. Fins. Fins? The fins that stick up. Well, I like those fins. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's no probably the exact same thing, really. Look at this. What do you think, right there in those trees? Is that our donut spot? Holy cow. Look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, <laughs> 
filled. I'm confused what this is. So one side has white filling and one side has chocolate. Here, open it up. Oh, that's the Bavarian side. Mm. And that's oh, the chocolate side. That's new. Oh, what a fun time that's going to be. <laughs> yeah? Mm hmm. Okay. Apple fritters are always my favorite. Always. So, as you see, these are just. Everybody asks us all the time what donuts you get. And sometimes we go to specialty shops, but sometimes Walmart's sometimes got some great. Sometimes Walmart, or we always tell people local grocery bakeries are unbelievable. We've had some really good donuts just from like a Publix or a grocery store. All right, so you see us go to Sunrise all the time. Um, and there's specific reasons for that. If you've ever been inspired to go to a place by seeing photos online or videos online, those photos and videos were probably taken at sunrise or sunset mm -hmm. in this in this just magical light so if you've been inspired and then you get there and it's not quite what it looked like maybe try to visit it during sunrise or sunset because it's right. all about the light the all golden about the hour light. that like glow that happens in these yeah. really cool places so if you go in the middle of the day and you're like wait a minute this doesn't look anything like the photos i saw that's probably that's why. why so obviously less people is better yes um, people are great we love people but when you're trying to take in a setting you know the less people the better no crowds no crowds all right so we wrapped up our time in Kansas it was our last state I really don't know how we're judging these states but technically it was our last state to visit I don't know why we waited so long there's stuff in every state we say it all the time there are always hidden gems right around the corner so if you don't feel like traveling far or you're trying to save money on gas figure out some local things that you've never done near your hometown and i promise you there are like hidden gems right in your backyard that you've never seen before yeah and local meaning you know within a few hours yeah not, not like in your hometown but maybe there is some stuff i don't know I that still you've never like... seen in your own hometown don't put off the things that you think you're going to do someday in your home state because most of the time you just don't get around to it so set a date go and do it take your family do a sunrise do a sunset find that golden hour in those really really cool places that are right near your home as soon as we got to Colorado Springs we got to stop and visit with some crew members it's so exciting to meet Kyle and Rachel and their entire family what a better place to stop than like the parking lot of a Bass Pro Shop before we got into our campground. Well, I mean, that parking lot's gorgeous. It overlooked the entire Insane. like mountain range and everything. And we got our favorite stools again in black. <sighs> so excited. Those little tripod stools, they're like foot rests and they're little chairs you can bring with you everywhere. They're the best. If you don't have some with you in your RV, you should get them. We are going to Pikes Peak next. We have a uh, timed entry, yep. so we have to get going here pretty soon. I wanted to do it you know, as close to sunrise um, as possible for the sun to be lower, um, because if you get out from the mountain and the sun's just straight down on you, it's just, everything's washed wait, out. Wait. Got a friend? I scared? Pike's Peak. Let's do it. I think you can see it through the window there, yep, over by Layla. That's it. Morning. Did you buy online? We did, yes. Last name or transaction ID? Uh, Nickerson, N-I-C-K-E-R-S-O-N. So a carload and an 8 o'clock time entry. Where are you guys from? We're from Maine. It's on my list of places to go. Uh, you it should be. It. You guys have this thing called oxygen where you live. <laughs> yes. Don't forget to breathe while you're here. And that's the thing right now, yes. You guys have a good day. Thank you, Thank very you much. so you're much. Welcome. I wonder how similar this drive is going to feel to doing Mount Washington. Um, it's going to be really similar. Um, you say, well, no, it's not similar. Mount Washington's only 6,200 feet tall, and Pikes Peak is 40, 14,100 feet tall. <laughs> I don't know what it is exactly. It's over 14,000 feet. Right. Um, but here's the thing. Here's the term that you need to know. It's called prominence. So Mount Washington's prominence 
is 6,100 feet. That's the, the elevation above the surrounding area. Right. Pikes Peak's prominence is only 5,500 feet. Just to put it in perspective, just because it just starts at that much higher of an elevation. If you go to the East Coast and you see 6,200 feet, you're like, Meh. climb that mountain because you can drive right to the top of it and it will feel like you're on top of the world. Probably not quite as much as this prominence. So we paid $50 for just a car load. So the car load covers five people, up to five people. Exactly. And then uh, otherwise, I think it's like $15. $15 a person and then 16 and under are $5. So no matter what, it was $50 for us. Yeah, just get the car load. Make and the timed entry is $2. So it was 52 total. I have no idea what it costs to go up Mount Washington. I know we did it when the girls were very, very little. I'll have to show you guys a picture of us at the top of Mount Washington. We took our Tacoma up there oh many gosh. years ago. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. This is amazing. Stunning. Okay, if you are planning on heading up, the temperature difference when you go up 5,000 feet is pretty significant. So make sure you're bringing some warm clothes to put some layers on as you get to the top because it's about 75 degrees down at Garden of the Gods and I'm pretty sure right now it's about 41 at the top. just past the uh, the start of the hill climb. What the hill climb is, is a bunch of dudes and girls, crazy people, <laughs> race their cars up this hill as fast as they can. That is absolutely insane. Some of these turns are ridiculous. More towards the beginning, you can actually see a bunch of like skid marks just flying off the road. So if you see those when you come up, it's people in race cars. They have all the, the safety equipment. It's most <laughs> likely a race car that crashed. These guys, I'm not sure the exact times that they get, but they come up here at like a hundred miles an oh, hour. Oh my gosh. And here we are going straight up at oh like 10 miles an hour. I'm gonna see how long it takes us to get to the top versus them. Let's talk a little bit about elevation. Um, it was hard enough to get used to being just at 7,000 feet after just, you know, a couple days before being at 500 feet or something. The top is over 14,000 feet and you can even feel, we're not even walking around, you can even feel, can feel how little air there is. It's crazy. And you're like, well, how are you still spewing all your garbage? <laughs> how are you still talking there, Corey? I trust you. It's not hard. <laughs> So before, I wasn't trying to compare like Mount Washington views to what this is gonna look like. I no. have no idea, I've never been up here. So it's probably, it's obviously not gonna compare to that, but I'm just trying to say that don't discount 6,200 feet. Um, That's still a big mountain when it's coming straight out of the ground. Oh yeah. Oh my word, uh, here, look, look at this. Look over here. that out. I wonder how accurate that app is. I don't know because right here this says the highest the highest point is 14 at 115. So it's so. within 10 feet. Yep. But we might not actually be at the absolute highest point right yeah, here. Yeah exactly. I'd say it's pretty good. We got a little bit of service when we got to the top of this so we could check our numbers. It's seven minutes and 57 seconds is the fastest time. I can't imagine it took us exactly half an hour. 30 minutes. Wow. Some of those corners, it's just straight, straight down. Straight drop offs. And <laughs> terrifying. Oh my gosh. It's hard to talk. It's hard, it's to, hard talk. to talk. Holy cow. <laughs> it's hard to breathe up here. All right. So there's a visitor center up here, and then there's some walkways and some cool overlooks. So let's go check them out.
Feels nice in here. Oh, that's a great looking lift right there. Look at that. <laughs> when the first road was constructed in 1887, a carriage could climb the 19 miles of steep curves to the summit for one dollar. In 1916, entrepreneur Spencer Penrose constructed the Pikes Peak Highway following the path of the original carriage road and a new kind of thrill seeker arrived. At the annual Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, drivers from around the world navigate the 156 turns in a race to the top. Some, like explorer Zebulon Pike, were enticed by the challenge of reaching its summit. Others were lured by the prospect of riches. For many, the Great Mountain was the first thing they saw when crossing into the Colorado Territory at the end of a long and arduous journey. By 1891, riders could sit back and enjoy the trip to the top on the Cobb Railroad. We're at 60% oxygen, Louie. I'm feeling it. Denali's 47. Mount Everest, only 33% oxygen. Crazy. You can feel it though, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fall asleep. Only, uh... He's literally wants to fall asleep. Only working at 60% here. Okay, so when we met up with Kyle and Rachel, Kyle told us that we had to stop once we got to the summit and get the Pikes Peak World Famous Donuts. Obviously, we had some donuts this morning, but when you come up here, so you have to have them. Going. He did say that you cannot have them once you bring them down because they're baked up here at elevation, so I'm actually they curious shrink. what happens to I'm the donuts. They shrink. This is another reason why it's America's Mountain. This is incredible. So Catherine Lee Bates actually wrote America the Beautiful, the song, up here at Pikes Peak. That's incredible. I did not know that. I gotta get the long lens on and see if I can see. Actually, I think that, I don't know. I thought that was <laughs> Garden of the Gods. Alright, okay. talk to me. Okay. World famous donuts. World famous. Oh my god. Is it yummy? It is so good. They're like fruit, they're crispy on the bottom. Okay. Wow. It's What's not sunrise, but it's pretty spectacular. Oh. Is there anything in that one? No, it's just chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate's really good, but the glaze is my favorite for sure. Okay. You can see Garden of the Gods? Yeah, I can see Garden of the Gods. That's awesome. Barely. I officially cannot feel my fingers anymore. It's cold up here. It's I think so it's cold. 45 degrees or something. Let me have a bite of this. Sir. Really, good. really good. I think this wraps up our uh, view from the top of Pikes Peak. Top of America's Mountain. America's Mountain. What a spectacular drive. Look at this rig. Oh my gosh, have you seen that thing? Holy cow, I can't believe that, that thing, thing up drove here. up here. I gotta get a closer look at that thing. It says Austria. Pretty cool. All right. Oh, it's so much warmer in here. <laughs> this was so much fun. Holy cow. You can breathe a whole lot better. <laughs> <laughs> at the top of Mount Washington versus here. Yeah. So. You're definitely working at more than 60%. Yeah, I chugged up at two sets of stairs in the uh, <laughs> visitor center. You're and like, I was like, whoa. Whoa. Is it's correct. really crazy. So, that is one of the things that they tell you make sure that you're taking the time to like walk slowly and don't be, you know, running like crazy and make sure you're drinking lots of water so you don't want to get dehydrated. And I can tell you, I felt better outside than I did in the visitor center. That's very true. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, well, this is fresh air. We're going to go buy this this crazy mobile. So they're way up high. Can you imagine so some of those scary. corners that we ran around? They're like looking straight down.
Hindsight, if we didn't have to do Garden of the Gods in the morning, I would have tried to be here at the gate as soon as it 7 30. I got excited when I first re started researching this. Um, I saw some ad that they had a special sunrise tour. Where, mm. where you get up there at like 4 or 5 in the morning or something. Can you imagine watching that? Yeah. That'd but it's be like, incredible. it was back in 2016, and I don't know if they have them annually or what. Cool. Can you imagine being up there for, for sunrise? sunrise? Or any mountain. We just need to go find a mountain that has that you can drive to. What are some other mountains that you can drive to that would have an awesome sunrise that's available to drive to, you know, before sunrise? Pretty epic view of the outside of the park. Or from the outside of the park. Yeah, this is Mesa Ridge like viewpoint, the little parking area that you can view. This is another good spot to come for sunrise. Yeah, we should have come here too. That would have been a good shot. So this is our entire day in one shot. We have Garden of the Gods, and then right behind it we have Pikes Peak that we were just up on top of. What? Noon. What an amazing day. <laughs> I just can't believe we were just up there. I know. Like, like an hour ago. So Isn't that crazy? You can breathe a little easier down here. Oh gosh. Night and day. We're definitely uh, we're definitely coming back here. Absolutely, man. Colorado Springs is really on one of my top cities list. This is like, I don't know what list I was reading, but it said one of the top ten things you should do in the United States. Wow. Garden of the Gods. I would agree. At sunrise or is that if again photographer of the day I think this is like the tenth time she's taken photos for people look at this view though come on oh that's super cool we're like keeping pace with them jeez they're not going very fast nope a little tippy well I guess they're going they gotta be going at least 85 is they're gaining on us yeah that is so cool. Oh, look at him coming this way. Right over the top. That's really cool.